The quickest way to get started in Apromore is by manually uploading the event log of an assist process, for example, in CSV format. I'm going to do that now for an incident management example. Once that CSV file has been ingested into the tool, Apromore is going to show me an excerpt of that event log so I can quickly review the mapping that Apromore has done for that file. Then I can give it a name and complete the upload. At that stage, then an event log will pop up in my workspace. I can then simply double click on it to let Apromore automatically reverse engineer the process map of that process. And I can use the process map to carry out a flow-based analysis to analyze the structure, the performance, and the compliance of my process. As far as the structure is concerned, I can see what tasks are performed in which order and see whether there are anomalies to the process structure, such as rework and repetition or exceptional activities and pathways. I can then switch from a frequency overlay to a duration overlay to single out activity bottlenecks, as well as bottlenecks that relate to resource capacity constraints, such as the one uh, around activity approval incident. These are situations where all the incoming arcs capturing waiting times are quite long. And that means that I do not have enough resources to perform that activity, hence cases queue up at the doorstep of that activity, waiting for resources to become available. I can also visualize the buildup of bottlenecks by letting the tool replay the historical data from my event log on top of the process map that has been discovered. Here, for example, I can see clearly that there is a bottleneck around this activity approve incident. Last, I can use a promore to identify compliance violations, specifically with respect to flow constraints, resource principles such as a segregation of duties between activity approved solution and implement solution, as well as SLA constraints. For example, with a simple combination of keyboard shortcuts, I can quickly retain all the cases where a solution has been implemented without being approved first. And I can see that 3% of incidents, that is 18 cases, which I can inspect one by one, where a solution that has been uh, implemented without the solution being approved first. Similarly, I can apply a case duration filter to retain all the cases that take more than three weeks to be fully handled. I can use this view to switch perspective, e.g. look at the process from the resources that are involved, effectively discovering the social network of interactions between process participants or the roles. I can also build a BPMN view and save that view, including the simulation parameters, back to my workspace, where I can then open and edit that BPMN model with the embedded editor or modify the simulation parameters to assess the impact of different what-if scenarios. Last, I can right-click on my event log to fire up a dashboard. A promore comes with a number of pre-made key performance indicators, uh, charts, and detailed tables. And I can also fully customize these dashboards and template them so that I can then apply these templates from one log onto the next. For example, here I've created a template for a KPI center specifically for my incident management process. And if I load this template for my particular example, then I can see key performance indicators for each stage of my process or compliance violations, such as number of incidents where uh, a solution has been implemented without approval or number of incidents where a segregation of duty between approval and implementation of the solution has been violated.